if it was possible to travel anywhere in the galaxy, the next step in our epic journey would be traveling to our nearest major galaxy, which is Andromeda. It is 2.5 million light years away from Earth. It is the most distant naked eye object you can see in the night sky. Although several dozen minor galaxies lie closer to our Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy is the closest large spiral galaxy to ours. It is the nearest major galaxy to the Milky Way, and it gets its name from the area of the sky from which it appears the constellation of Andromeda, which was named after the Greek mythological princess Andromeda. Here are five fascinating facts about the Andromeda Galaxy. Andromeda has one trillion suns. There are around one trillion suns in the Andromeda Galaxy compared to between 100 and 400 billion stars for our own Milky Way galaxy. Not only does it have a lot more stars than the Milky Way, Andromeda is enormous with a diameter of around 220,000 light years across, which is nearly one and a half times longer than the Milky Way. Despite that, the mass of the Andromeda galaxy is only 400 billion times that of our own Sun. The Milky Way is imagined to be considerably heavier, because it probably possesses more dark matter and dark energy than the Andromeda Galaxy. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. Andromeda appears six times the size of our Moon. From Northern Hemisphere, the Andromeda Galaxy is best seen from August to February, and in the Southern Hemisphere, it can be seen low on the Northern Horizon from October to December. The Andromeda Galaxy is best observed when it's reasonably dark outside, because then it is very easy to spot, but it may come as a surprise to most people that the Andromeda Galaxy appears six times wider than the full moon in the night sky. Even with the naked eyes, it appears as a cloud of faint light, which is about the size of the moon. A decent binoculars will reveal a much larger image of the galaxy. Using an 8-inch telescope, M31 presents a spectacular sight with its diffuse dust lanes stretching out from its bright center, and if these vast spiral arms are included, the Andromeda Galaxy would cover around 20 degrees of sky which is about 40 full moons. Andromeda is full of black holes. As with all large galaxies, including our own Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center, in this case with a mass of 100 million suns. The central region of the Andromeda Galaxy is full of black holes. The galaxy once had nine known black holes, but that number went up to 35 in 2013. Astronomers observed 26 new black holes in the galaxy, which is the largest hall of black hole candidates ever found in a galaxy that isn't our own. Most of those new black holes have about 5 to 10 times the mass of our sun. Seven of the black holes were found within 1,000 light years from the center of the galaxy. Astronomers expect to find many more black holes in the Andromeda galaxy in the future. In 2017, two supermassive black holes were found. They are the closest orbiting pair ever found. The two could catastrophically collide in less than 350 years and merge as one large black hole. The two are currently 0.01 light years apart, which is just a few hundred times the distance of the Earth from the Sun. Not only is the number of black holes in the Andromeda Galaxy impressive, but the way they are moving is amazing. Andromeda and Milky Way will collide. Andromeda is going to collide with our galaxy in the distant future. At this very moment our two galaxies are approaching each other between 60 to 87 miles per second. In about 4 billion years Milky Way is going to merge, probably having a triple nucleus for a while, while the stars we are familiar with will also form new constellations, but eventually the galactic collision will settle down resulting in a brand new massive elliptical galaxy. Of course when two galaxies come together you might think there would be a lot of collisions. It seems logical that a whole bunch of little red dwarves, the most common stars in any galaxy, would combine to make many more large white suns, like our own. However, the truth is that the space between the stars is so vast that there might be no collisions at all. What will happen is that lots of stars will be flung off into deep space and become wandering solar systems, but the large majority will remain associated and form a large ball of stars. 
Andromeda was once thought to be a nebula. A nebula is a massive cloud of gas, and it is the place where stars are born. Distant galaxies have often been mistaken for these massive clouds. In 1924, astronomer Edwin Hubble announced that the spiral nebula Andromeda was actually a galaxy and that the Milky Way was not the only galaxy in the universe. Hubble found a number of stars in the Andromeda galaxy, including Cepheid variable stars. Cepheid variable stars vary from bright to dim and can be used to measure distance. He figured out how far away these stars were and that helped him calculate that the Andromeda galaxy was 860,000 light years away, which is more than eight times the distance of the farthest stars in the Milky Way. This proved that Andromeda was in fact a galaxy and not a nebula as first suspected. Hubble later went on to discover another couple dozen of galaxies.